Hello fellas! Welcome to the first episode of the 148 scale Corsair build. In this episode, first I'm going to add extra details to the cockpit and then I will paint it. Let's go building mates! Along with the kit I bought a photo edge set from Edward. So I will have to remove some of the kit details to make room for the photo edge. But first I will remove the print from the photo edge instrument panel. It's very easy and all we need is some acetone. So cool to watch, right? By the way, most of the tools and materials I'm using are linked in the description. I'll admit it hurts me to do this, but it's necessary. In addition to the photo edge parts, I will make some scratch build details. I will call these details background details. Those will be barely visible, but will give the model a sense of completeness and depth. This type of details doesn't have to be very accurate in my opinion. So I'm not spending too much time on them. The photo edge set provides a frame for the seat, but before installing it, I will have to remove the kit frame and to fill the holes that appeared. The photo edge frame is a bit disappointing though. It's very flimsy and lacks details and volume. To remedy that, I added pieces of stretch sprue to achieve that tubular structure looks. The photo edge seat looks nice. However, gluing large pieces of photo edge together is not the best way to do things. So I solder the seat together. I am not very good at soldering and I did not do a very clean job so I had to file down the excess. The 
the seat is one solid piece now. The internal structure I glued with super glue and then I cleaned the excess using acetone. I added some footage details, but not all included in the kit. Those which are pre-painted I will attach after painting. On the side walls, along with the footage details, I added some scratch build items using stretch sprue, fishing line and copper wire. To make the copper wire more malleable, you can heat it up and then let it cool down slowly. Alright, I think this looks good enough. The glass on the belly of this side was replaced with solid piece. So I will put in place the transparent plastic and then I will paint over it. Let's do some airbrushing work. The primer I chose is Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black. I use this primer almost all of the time because it gives me an awesome foundation and helps with the depth enhancement. I thin the primer with Mr. Leveling Thinner at 50-50 ratio and spray the mixture with 0.3mm nozzle. You can find the link for the airbrush I use in the description.
campaign the model I'm going to use an article in IPMS Stockholm as a guide. Link you can find in the description. According to this article, as an anti-glare measure, all cockpit panels above the lower edge of the instrument panel were to be painted matte black. I made a very dark grey mix so I can have some shadows. Next up is the interior green. Here I am using H58 from Mr. Hobby. When painting I try to apply light layers, so I can gradually build the opacity to where I want it to be. And what I want to do is to get the slightly darker internal edges and all kinds of recessed details. Also, the back side of the additional details I will not attempt to paint. This will leave the back parts in black with a nice transition to the green on the face, essentially boosting the shadows and therefore the sense of depth. Alright people, make sure you click on the notification bell so you can get notified when the next episode comes out. And also, allow the notifications from YouTube on your device, otherwise YouTube may never serve the content you want to watch. Thank you so much for watching till the end, until next time, happy modeling!